purchasing the ML. Ugh, sorry, the GLE. Wow. Am I getting old? I think I'm getting old, guys. <laughs> I used to be BMW just across the board. Like the 5, the 7, the X5, the 3 Series, just every single one. And yes, for sports cars, I'm 100% with you. You're not gonna beat... Well, you may actually beat it with some of these AMGs they have, but for me, at least, BMW will always hold the sports car title. But now it's just really, really hard for me to pick a BMW over a Mercedes when we're talking comfort and elegance. <laughs> What is happening guys? Ari here with Boston Automotive Consulting. Here today to express to you how satisfying it is looking at this 2020 GLE 350. Guys, before it was almost like you'd be settling if you got the GLE because maybe the X5 was out of your price range. And I don't think that's the case anymore. I actually, I think that they did a really, really good job with this GLE, especially the interior. A lot of people were complaining about how dated the GLE's interior was getting when stacked up next to like the E-Class and like the new S-Class. It really is nice inside. And I don't know, man, every time I'm looking at a Mercedes, like I just start getting a little bit more relaxed than I do when I'm looking at a BM. But anyway, really nice. Really nice SUVs, guys. So guys, before I dive right in, into the negotiation tips on this brand new GLE, I wanna introduce myself for those of you who are logging on to one of my videos for the very first time. My name is Ari Janessian, and I run a car buying service called Boston Automotive Consulting. We help our clients achieve the very, very best deals on brand new cars, and the whole goal of this YouTube channel is to give car buyers all the negotiation tips that they need so that they can land the very best deal on cars such as the brand new GLE 350. So if you haven't already and you enjoy solid how-to videos, especially when it comes to negotiating brand new cars, please consider subscribing. Diving right in, guys. Love this new GLE 350. The one that I've got picked out today is one that I'm actually working on for a client of mine. It's a $59,560 MSRP 350. And coincidentally, I always typically say this about Mercedes having like an eight, eight and a half percent markup from invoice to MSRP, not recognizing any of the holdback money that trained and seasoned Benz negotiators all know about. I got offered $5,000 off of the price of this particular one, which if you do out the math backwards, it's like 8.4% off of the MSRP. Basically an invoice deal, which is pretty generous, given that it's only been on the lot for I'd say like maybe a month now. No rebates, no lease cash, no finance rebates, none of that stuff we're dealing with however much you can just get off of MSRP. So 5,000 off of the MSRP, however, they are offering decent rates at the moment, somewhere between 3.79 and 3.99 through MBFS. So definitely a solid plus right then and there if you're considering purchasing the ML. Ugh, sorry, the GLE. Wow, definitely getting old, definitely getting old. <laughs> now, if you're planning on leasing the brand new GLE, the program is even better than the X5s, guys, and doesn't have any rebates and it's still substantially less than the X5s. We're dealing with a 60% residual at 10,000 miles a year and a 0 .00160 money factor. So in my opinion, I think that Mercedes is just cutting straight to the chase on this brand new GLE, not trying to overcharge you because it knows they've got to capitalize on the market, stacking it, stacking the GLE against the X5 capitalizing whoever walks in there, offering them that, that price just off the bat. And I'm expecting the price to go even lower than that. However, I'm expecting the residual to sink. I think we're probably gonna stay around the payment that I'm about to get to next. So going after that same $5,000 discount, plugging in a 60% residual with that 0 .00160 money factor, and with just the inception fees, do it start, like your acquisition fee, doc fee, first payment, registration, all that stuff up front. 
We're at $709 a month, including Mass State sales tax. Guys, for me, getting the GLE for about 700 bucks is common. It was common on the previous body style. It was common on the body style, let's say before that, but with a little bit more equipment, obviously because Benz has been raising, everybody has been raising rates on us. What was like a 600 or $625 payment maybe three to five years ago is the new 700 to 750 now. It's possible that after a few months, after you know, they release some lease cash on it. Maybe they'll reduce the money factor on it, etc. We might see an entry GLE 350 go in like the 650 range. However, being at 710 right now is pretty solid. That's just my opinion. So guys, I hope that this video gave you some direction. I know a lot of people that are shopping the GLE are probably shopping, you know, the, the X5 or the Lexus GX or whatever you may be shopping. I hope that this video put the GLE into perspective for you during your car shopping process or maybe if you were just curious what it's going out for. If you found this information useful and you want to see more of these new car buying and negotiation tip type videos, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time.